What is up guys and gals, gals and guys, Space Unicorn here bringing you some hot frag action. Today, we're going to be looking at the very best center cards in Frag Pro Shooter so you can make the best lineup possible and win the most games and get those sweet rewards. With that being said guys, stay tuned to the end because we are going to be announcing something special for next week's video. And on top of that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more hot frag action. Thank you and here we go. Hakairu is our first character, guys, and this is a pretty B-tier character, and how he does get an absolutely insane buff. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be this next update or the one after, but for now, he's going to be B-tier for the Nintendo Switch players out there. Um, very good primary fire, not the greatest ultimate ability. Hunter, this is an excellent card, easy A-tier for the center cards here, guys. This is a card you can have in your lineup with the AoE control ability from the ultimate and the primary fire damage output. Very successful card in frag. Lollipop is our next character. This is the best center card in Frag Pro Shooter, and she stays very viable for a very long time. So make sure you level up this card if you're playing on your Nintendo Switch. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Darius kind of falls into this high rank A as well with the splash damage and the high output capability. Along with the mobility ultimate, this card finds himself being very playable for you in the arena. Izuna, in this current iteration of the game, she is the better of the two. She is an A tier, a lower A tier, but an A tier nonetheless. The ultimate ability is extremely viable, especially on waterfalls if you know how to spam spawns. AO is our next character, the Izuna counterpart. He is a mid B tier. He does do good damage, but he has an extremely large hitbox, making him very susceptible to opposing attackers. Duality is a bit of a tricky character to rank because you have to play her well to get the most out of her. And whenever she is played well, she is an easy A tier character. Give this card a chance, guys, and learn to time your switches from the primary fire to the secondary fire, and you'll find this card being very good for you in the arena. Amelia. This card's going to be a bit of a hot take, but I believe she's a high B tier. She does do okay damage, and her mobility is awesome. But once you take that away from her, whether it's with a stun or an effect character that does a lot of damage on impact, she is not as good as she seems. Fun on waterfalls, though, so high B tier, low A tier. Laika, this card is strange to me. It's a C tier character. The only reason it's C tier is because of the ultimate ability being what it is. The primary fire is not good on this card, but that ult is useful in the correct hands. Newt is actually going to be one of our higher graded tanks. He's going to be a high B tier, low A tier for us. Ultimate ability is incredibly useful. And primary fire has good range and does adequate damage. I like the feel of this card currently in Fry. Queen Boom. This card's interesting with their ultimate ability giving the buffs to the team and healing. Plus speed boost, she is definitely viable. High B tier, low A tier as well. Quetzal, I'm gonna say this is the worst of the center cards, guys. This is a D tier character. Primary fire is not even really okay, and the ultimate's next to useless unless you are on bridges. Uh, so D tier for her. Rip and Finn is an easy A tier character with an ultimate ability that can push people off the map. Extremely effective in street frag uh, and bridges. Recommend checking this card out if you haven't already. A lot of knockback, a lot of crowd control on this character. Smoker's an oddball. He's a C tier character, but he could easily get bumped into B with a minor buff to his primary damage. Honestly, I like playing him. He just doesn't do quite enough damage. Strix is our next character, guys. This is a high C tier, low B tier. Has a useful ultimate ability, and the primary fire is pretty solid. He just needs a touch more, and I think he'd be effective in the arena. Here comes Tankbot, guys. This card is slept on by so many people. This is an A tier card, huge clip, limitless range, and an ultimate ability that usually guarantees a kill against all but a couple characters. Vandal is next on our list. This card slept on, guys. The firing mechanic's a little weird with the trajectory, but once you master this card, it can dish out a lot of damage very quickly. Easy B tier. Here's Wave. This card has definitely seen better days for anybody that knows they know. Uh, currently, he's okay, uh, but he's nothing better than a C tier to me. He doesn't really play into the meta well, and he just kind of is right now. Roll off. This card needs his old ultimate ability back. He needs to be able to fly through the air and smash the ground and stun the characters and knock them back in the area. If they did that, this card would actually be pretty good in his current shape with the melee feature and that ability as opposed to his current ultimate ability. I don't have much good to say about Scout Nutty, so I'm not going to say much at all. D tier for me. Mecha Knight's interesting. His ultimate ability is okay, but the AI doesn't know to play behind the shield, so he's a D tier for me. 
Does okay damage, just needs a little bit more TLC and love from the devs. So now that you see where we have marked and ranked all of the characters in Frag Pro Shooter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top 10 characters in Frag and I'm going to create some different lineups for them and talk about meta. And we're going to figure out what is the best lineup you can currently run on the Nintendo Switch for you in Frag Pro Shooter. We're going to do that using our tier list here today. And I hope you guys are ready for that because that will be coming out next Monday. I want to thank everybody for coming. I hope you enjoy the rest of this match. Make sure you join Twisted Alliance Gaming if you are playing Frag on the Nintendo Switch. And if you are not playing Frag on the Nintendo Switch, come check it out. It is a lot of fun and is playing very smoothly for me and for the others currently on the Switch. We also have a big update coming, so it's the perfect time to come join Twisted Alliance Gaming. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, Through the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, Better see what the negativity But I just slide right by that Low, you can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never ran to the no man I still go Go, 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 go Some batter in your brain uh, That's why to say Fake it till you make it A And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst stuff saying Turn them to a game Take the best stuff saying Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start the pain And you'll find the door Open it up And finally explore Everything that you thought You could never do before uh, And even when you feel low Feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer, and no man, I still go. Go, 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 go.